Okay, Castic Bowcraft here today. Um, just wanted to guys show you guys a, a bow that I made. Um, I don't know if you've any of you have seen my uh, previous videos, but I was up in uh, Washington uh, last month and um, hunting with my friend up there, and uh, I ended up getting a deer. But what I also did was um, we harvested uh, some ocean spray. Uh, staves from up there uh, some ocean spray uh, shafts and uh, some wood to make bows with and in addition to that you know we harvested the deer and uh, used some of the components from the deer um, and I wanted to make a bow out of all of those things so uh, here's the first bow or this is the, actually the second bow that I made um, out of all of that stuff I've got it's an ocean spray uh, log that I split had a big old knot in the uh, mid limb there um, and then I, I uh, covered it with uh, the rawhide from the deer that we shot or that I shot um, it's a nice little bow uh, it's uh, really uh, thin it's probably uh, an inch wide at the handle um, and since the uh, the belly is flat and the uh, the back is uh, remained uh, rounded um, you know, it's pretty a uh, thin bow. So this bow came to be about, uh, I think, about uh, 30 pounds at 26 inches. Not very heavy, but it is a nice bow. Uh, I don't know if you could see it or not, but um, the bow, when it's unstrung, has a uh, has a uh, a natural uh, gull wing uh, shape. I don't know if you could see that or not. We'll just put it, try to get it on one of these arrows here well it's hard to see but anyway you could you could kind of see that um, uh, the limbs kind of uh, uh, bend uh, away or towards the back and then back in again and the handle uh, um, is a little bit set back uh, from the limbs so um, maybe you could see it better here. Um, so it, it has like a natural gullwing type thing. What I'm going to do, I'll, I'll string it up and I'll show you a little bit how it looks when it's strung. Then we'll shoot it. Okay, so here's the bow uh, strung up. I apologize for the background sound. There's some gardeners over there with the lawnmowers. But that's the bow strung up. Uh, also, too, I forgot to mention that I have uh, I made some rawhide string for it as well. Um, this is not from the deer uh, that we shot because deer skin is a little bit too thick to make rawhide out of or to make a rawhide string out of so I don't know what kind of, I think this is goat skin here it's really thin stuff and um, uh, it makes a good string so here's how it looks uh, when it's uh, when it's strong you can see that big knot right there it doesn't really affect uh, the tiller of the bow um, if this bow was a little bit wider, uh, it would have made a heavier bow. But, um, you know, I just didn't want to break it uh, while I was making it. And um, I didn't really make it for any, uh, to, to, to do any hunting with. I just made it just, just to shoot with. So um, I'm going to get some arrows here and we're going to shoot this bow and show you how it works. Okay, so um, I'm going to take a couple of shots. Um, have some uh, random arrows here but this is the uh, this is the tiller on the bow looks like a good tiller pretty even so we're gonna take a couple of shots you can see it uh, well, there's a rawhide string on here and the rawhide after a while starts stretching but um, I wanted to keep the bow primitive so that's why I use the rawhide string we're gonna take a couple of shots I'm about uh, 10 yards away Now that these arrows are a little bit over spine, but that's all right. And there you go. We'll do another shot of the arrows at the target side. Thanks.
Okay, so that's how it's shot. It uh, shoots pretty fast for such a light bow, and I think it's because, well, obviously, it's because of the uh, the shape of the limbs um, when the thing is unstrung or unbraced. Um, but anyway, it's it's a light bow, so you really can't tell one way or the other. Um, I know, though, if I had the uh, right spined arrows on here, um, it would shoot a lot more accurately. Um, here's my last group that I shot probably from about 12 yards away. Um, this one here that went into the, uh, that went here was actually an arrow that was uh, broken half or it broke off and I repaired it and uh, it may be a little bit off but uh, that arrow went over there and these three came over here so anyway uh, Castig Book Bowcraft um, I'm going to put up another video here shortly uh, of the other of the first ocean spray bow that I made so there you go Castig Bowcraft thanks for watching